In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at some of the advantages of copying keyframe attributes from one element to another in order to save time. I have here on track number one a vehicle driving on a beach. And let's say we're going to make a promotion of some kinds of things you can do on a beach. We want to add more than simply driving on the sand. So what I'd like to do is go back to the beginning of my clip and then we're going to insert some other kinds of beach pictures. I have some videos here. Let's take one and we'll drag it down to, to track number three. And this will be one of uh, some folks around a fire. And so I'm going to take that picture and we'll make it smaller. And we'll position it about here. And let's say this is where we want all of our pictures to drop. So I'm going to double click on track number three of this insert. And then we'll get into our pip designer. Now I'm in the pip designer. I'm going to do some keyframing. Let's say this is where we want the picture to be in approximately four seconds. So I'll drag my uh, playhead. We'll go to 329. And we'll say at this moment in time, here's what I want for position and scale. And I'm going to also use set rotation keyframes by clicking on the diamonds. So at this moment in time, these diamonds control my keyframe of this particular picture. Uh, then we'll go back to the beginning and take this clip and we'll change the beginning. Uh, uh, we'll move it over here. So that'll set a keyframe for position. We'll make it smaller. We'll change the scale keyframe. And then we'll also deal with rotation. So I'm going to go down to my properties tab, go to rotation, and let's do a minus 720 and press the enter key and that will give me a rotation so now if I play this in the preview screen here's what I have it will come spinning in and it will lock in at that place so there I have this popping up on the screen the way I want it so we'll stop that for now but we'll click on OK now let's assume that I want more than one picture to tumble in and lock into that same location at the same scale. And how can I make that happen? Well, let's take another one. Let's take a uh, picture of someone doing some surfing. Put that on track number four. We'll begin about four seconds in. So when one starts, the other will uh, be over. Let's see, we'll start about 329 there. And now I could go through and try to emulate everything I did before, but now I can copy my keyframe attributes. So I'll right click on the bonfire, click on copy keyframe attributes, then I'll right click on my new clip and I'll do paste keyframe attributes. It wants to make sure I know what I'm doing, so I'll click on OK. And when I do that, I just copied all those attributes on the second clip. Uh, let's show you what happens now. I'm going to take the first one. We'll, we'll go play on our movie. And the first one comes tumbling in, locks in there. And then the second one comes tumbling in and locks in at exactly the same location, tumbling in at the same speed. Let's take a third one, for example. We'll take the uh, runner on the beach. We'll drag this down to about eight seconds in, uh, keep them consistent. And I can copy the attributes from either of these clips since they're identical. I'll right click, copy keyframe attributes, right click, and we'll paste. And we're, we want to do this. OK, now we'll do the second and third. We'll watch them all tumble in here. There's number one, number two. And number three. And the nice thing about the way we do it is that we the final element is exactly the right size. It's exactly in the same location. I don't have to memorize x, y coordinates. Now another thing I can do, I can take, let's take number two. We'll double click on that. And now we're going to change the keyframe attributes. We're going to change the starting position. So I'll move my playhead over here. And uh, now this, uh, this element here, it starts over here. Let me, let's say we want to start on the other side. So I'll simply drag it 
and click on OK. And now as I watch this, uh, it's inherited some keyframe attributes and then I've changed others. So that tumbles in from the left. Now the other one tumbles in from the right, locks into the same place, and then the third tumbles in from the left. Likewise, I could take this third one here, uh, go into the, uh, the default when it starts, and let's say we want this one to come in from the bottom. And so we'll click on OK. And now I have uh, the pictures rotating in, uh, sharing some attributes, but not sharing everything. Number one comes in, number two comes in, and then number three comes in. It's really nice if you want some kind of uniformity as you uh, use various options and keyframe settings on different objects that are part of your project in CyberLink PowerDirector.